is gender always relevant to language? Our course, you know, is about language and gender. It shows that there is one to one link between language and gender. And it raises the question whether this one to one relationship is always intact, is always desirable, is always possible. Feminist linguists like Lakoff, uh, these are the linguists which we refer to right in the beginning in the early modules. We talked about Robin Lakoff's work and uh, Deborah Cameron's work and Tennant's work. These people are uh, known as feminist linguists. So one of them is Lakoff. Lakoff made one to one. She is among feminist linguists. So these linguists make one to one link between language and gender. Here, gender means natural gender, sex. Conversation analysts like Shagliff, how this link is challenged or how this link is maintained. This point of view would be understood if we include in our discussion conversation analysts. Because our concern is with relationship of gender and language and this relationship can be understood with the help of conversation. So we should have to involve conversation analysts uh, to take their position on this point. And uh, one of the famous conversation analysts is Shagler. He is uh, from the field of sociology. He, these people make one-to-one -one link between language and social identity. When you talk, you talk your identity. This is their point of view. So it shows that language and gender, they are always linked with each other. Gender and language, uh, gender is always relevant to language. Conversation defines identity of the participants, not gender talk. Different speech styles, as we discussed previously, that when uh, people talk with each other, so they, they indicate their gendered identity from their speech style. We can say that this is language of women and this is language of men, as was discussed by uh, Deborah Cameron in, in her book, Language of Women. But here, the point of view is different. Here, we are talking about participants' identity on the basis of conversation not on the basis of their particular speech style. Conversation tells whether the talkers are linguists, whether they are Pakistanis, whether they are politicians, Muslims. This is the point of view of conversation analysts. Oaks, one of the same field, says that only a few expressions are directly linked with gender or sex. For example, in English, he, she, her, him, Mr., Mrs., and Ms., they are such expressions which are related with biological sex. Otherwise, we don't have any exact relationship between words of a language and biological sex. So, on the basis of this talk in this module, uh, we uh, were trying uh, to answer the question whether gender is always relevant to language, we can conclude that language is not directly linked with a social group. There is no men's or women's language, number one. It is the speaker and hearer who give meaning when they are involved in conversation. They, they interpret the meaning of linguistic features when they talk about particular topics in a particular real-time situation. They make tag questions, for example. You know, Cameron said 
that women use tag questions. So she related tag questions directly with women. But here, the point of view is that is offered by conversation analysts that it depends not on the biological sex, rather, it depends on how the conversationalist interprets certain linguistic features, how they take tag questions. For them, tag questions may be a strategy to look less harsh. When you say someone, I love you, don't I? So this, this is the style, and this is not, uh, this is not associated with a man or woman. Rather, it is communicative strategy. Similarly, in, in this task that you will do now, you will support you will support or you can disagree with this new point of view on the relationship between language and gender. In this task, the requirement is that you observe an informal talk. Informal talk means in some casual uh, environment, not in some formal environment of office or classroom, rather at some canteen, etc. So, in some informal talk, uh, you will uh, observe male and female class fellows, for example, at the canteen. Note utterances in which they use tag questions. Again, some examples for uh, your help that would uh, help you in answering this question. I have given some examples of tag questions. You are my friend, aren't you? I should not be there, should I? I help you in writing assignments, don't I? These are tag questions. So we just take this one linguistic feature. And with the help of this, you will see that how the conversationalist, the uh, friends talking about uh, something in a canteen, how they understand, how they give meaning to tag questions, interpret the use of tag questions in there context of talk and write about it.